Wimbledon, the greatest lawn tennis tournament in the world. On the first day, two Americans, Vic Satius and Tony Trabert, arrive. Satius took the champion's title last year, but Trabert is seeded number one by the committee. Last year's runner-up was Kurt Nielsen, the dashing Dane who, although unseeded, fought his way to the final. Wimbledon, as always, has its own brand of glamour. America's Gloria Butler shows what we mean. Cameras snap again as a handbag carried by Tony Trabert's wife catches the fashion spotter's eyes. And now to the centre court, where Vic Satius meets Britain's Geoffrey Cass. It's a Wimbledon tradition that the holder opens the season. It's an easy match for Satius, who wins 6-1, 6-love, 6-1. And so Wimbledon, with all its rituals and traditions, is underway once more. Here's Tony Mottram, one of Britain's best, who went down to Mervyn Rose. The 1948 champion, Bob Falkenberg, is here too, accompanied by his wife. Gardner Malloy is another of the American team out for Wimbledon honours. Now comes much-fancied Lewis Hode, one of Australia's two 19-year-old champions. The other of the terrible twins of Terrace is Ken Rosewall. Back to the centre court, where Australian Jack Arkinstall loses to Yaroslav Drobny, the naturalised Egyptian. Drobny may well capture the men's singles crown, for it is one of the most open events for years.